my name is Kirti Ambre and I am going to give you a brief description about spoken tutorial and its website flow and everything. So let me start with the describing about spoken tutorial. What is spoken tutorial? It is a, a e-learning website, uh, initiative of NMICT, uh, Government of India. It promotes IT literacy uh, through open source softwares. We provide tu video tutorials and audio tutorials which help us to learn so open source softwares. Um, we have almost 6,500 plus tutorials on our website, almost translated into 28 languages. We not only allow you to create uh, the tutorials on, through our website or translate tutorials through our website, we also allow organizers, colleges to do training, to plan their trainings, to allow users to register on our website. They can go, go on our website, do the trainings, uh, plan uh, their semesters across year in your colleges. So to do so, we have uh, three modules, specially on spoken creation module, training module, and statistics module. So as the name suggests, creation module basically takes uh, uh, care of the processes like creating tutorials, translating tutorials, dubbing tutorials. Uh, we have also audit where we check version control or uh, uh, the review control of tutorials. Next is the training module where we want you people to work on Registration, request for training, attendance, test, and certificates are the list of processes we are going to work in training module. Then the third one is statistic module. As the name suggests statistics, it gives you statistics about everything. Number of tutorials we have, number of trainings people did, number of colleges are associated with our website, number of tests people did in their uh, curriculum, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So more description about training module. It helps colleges to plan trainings and workshops. As I uh, explained earlier also, we allow organizers and colleges to show their interest that they want to do training using our material. We provide material to do trainings. So we allow them to plan their trainings, maybe before the workshop or before the training actually happens. They can create a calendar sort of thing on our website where they can plan that this semester I'm going to do this for, for this list of students or this workshop, or next semester I want this was to be uh, uh, trained to students, so uh, either in the outside lab hours or current lab hours, or just as an interest. Then uh, to do so, they have to register students using CSV file. Of course, as a student, if anybody forced me to do a website page and do this training, of course, I will not go and spend my half an hour to learn an OVD tutorial also. So students are not very much interest, uh, showing their interest that I want to do this training. So of course, we have to enroll students through something. So colleges and organizers do that work. They enroll students through CSV file on our website. So no any student has to personally go and register on the website. There are many rural areas where we do not have internet connection. So every student doesn't have internet connection at their home or in their college or everyone's laptop. So no one can go and personally actually register, logins, activate. So these all things are taken care of through organizer. Organizer do this all work. Organizer create some CSV file where we have all students' data, like his name, his email ID. Through email ID, we uh, segregate, we identify the unique student in our system. So organizers enroll students through CSV file. They uh, organizers uh, request for test where actually students go attend the test and if they are qualified they get the certificates so that that this is basically training module on the training module we have some types of users of course every website has types of user with it registered users or unregistered users you need not have to register on our website if you just want to view our content or download our content it is free and open source, so of course, we will not force you to register on our website. As a non-registered user, you can uh, view or download our content. You can view the questions which are asked on forums. You can view the discussions on forums. But if you want to have a role, or if you want to have some more permissions into it, of course, you have to register on your subs uh, website. Once you are registered, if you are related to only training module, you have some basic roles. First is organizer role, invigilator role, student role, or a training manager, which is our staff. 
like a helping staff which will solve your queries which will promote our website which will help us to uh, do trainings or to plan your trainings etc etc so as listed here organizer is responsible for register through college of course organizer is if organizer is doing any training he needs to be registered through some college so he has to register that college he has to select there can be a uh, multiple organizers uh, associated with one college as per the department so he needs to select department which department he is working on like computer science department engineering electronics chemical for which department he wants to conduct the training so that department then he has to request for the training if he is planning to do training in this semester as you know we our colleges follow some semester plan pattern like current semester next semester six months pattern we follow so if one organizer is thinking that we are going to plan this semester we are going to train our students uh, let's say java we, and they want to use our material from the, our website so from where will come to know that this organizer somewhere sitting in his college plan to use our data and he wants to conduct a training using our content so for that the training module a training interface which will help to initiate a training request the data will come to us it will get added to statistics and we will also come to know that yeah this particular organizer or uh, this particular college had shown interest to use our data and to teach people to teach students so he needs to request for the training upload csv again students uh, the csv attributes are first name last name email id and gender of course we uh, uh segregate students we identify each and every student by his email id email id is our primary key here then organizer is responsible for marking the attendance of course i i can upload like thousands of students in one csv but we don't know actually how many are doing training so responsibility of organizer to mark attendance that out of 100 only 20 did the training genuinely so he will mark the attendance on our interface we have giving the option to mark the attendance request for the test some students are like they just want to do training they don't want certificates but there are some who are genuinely go, want to uh, apply for the test they want that how many how much they have done in the training how much they have understand so for that we have test module also we uh, ask them to uh, do test through moodle so organizer has to request for the test then next role is the invigilator of course invigilator who will invigilate the test if somebody is giving test somebody needs to invigilate the test so as a invigilator you have to also register through college he when organizer request for test he and he needs to select one invigilator that who who is that person who is going to invigilate the test so that request will go to the invigilator interface that this particular organizer has asked me to invigilate the particular test so as a invigilator i can accept or reject that test request of course i will invigilate the test and mark the test attendance uh, if 50 out of 100 has done the training but only 20 are present for the test i have to mark those 20 out of those 51 because only those 20 will get the certificate now and he is responsible for close the test once the test is done everything is marked and everybody finished the test invigilator will close the online test third main role is the student student is the one who is going to do actual training through our website who is going to view our content who is going to learn from our content who is going to attend the test so as i had explained you need not have to register manually on our website you will be registered through csv by any organizer then as i said earlier that every college doesn't have internet facility with them there are many rural areas where they do not have subsequent uh, computers also with them so they can do offline training we allow as i said earlier we allow users to download cd content we allow users to download content from our website it is free of cost they can download the content and do the offline training if they don't want certificates they will not go for test but if they want certificate for the training they have done they will appear for the test and download the certificates last is the training manager is the spoken staff just i explained these are the people who will work from our team our project 
which will help them to solve their queries, which will promote our uh, tutorials to the colleges, organizers, uh, which will accept the request of organizers and create reports for our purpose that how many colleges did the training, how many colleges did test, how many people did well in test, which colleges are on the top five numbers, top ten numbers, who are doing well, etc. So this is a normal flowchart, how we are going to uh, upload students in our system. So we call it as a master batch. Uh, you have to create a CSV file first. Uh, we'll give an option like create a master batch thing where we'll upload the students. Students will get verified by our uh, backend process where we'll verify their email ID, whether it is genuine or not genuine, whether a genuine user or not. If the email ID is valid, then we'll check his existence in our database, that this student is duplicate or not. It's basic, basic validations. If it is a duplicate, we'll say no, this student has already registered on our system, no need to register again. You can just fetch that student for the training you want to do and continue. If the email ID is not validated, we'll reject that. Likewise, we'll validate the master list and we'll upload students in our system. So you people must be thinking like if you, if you have everything training module, creation module ready with you, that what exactly you people want to work on. So we have training module ready with us, but we have almost like 3000 plus colleges who are actually doing training with us and more than 54 lakh students who are enrolled. So as soon, day by day user base is getting increased. As the user base is getting increased, their queries are getting increased, their requirements are getting increased, their demands are also getting increased. So to fulfill that demands, we have to create our training model such a way that it will be hassle free, more user friendly, and it will take care of all the queries which are we are currently facing. So we want you people to work on redesign, rethink about the training module, make a module such a way that it will conquer all the problems. It will be more useful, user friendly as it is. So to um, implement this, we want people who are good in Django and Python, we'll, we work on Django and Python as a front end, MySQL as a back end, and a good knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Of course, if you're designing a website, you should be aware of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript at least. That is the basic requirement. I hope, so I can, that's it. I hope you like it. And I can see more people who want to work with us. I'm looking forward to it. Any questions? Any difficulties regarding training module or uh, the basic flow of spoken? I think no. <laughs> okay, thank you all.